Hey everybody, it's Robbie 062619195 here for more Earthbound. In the last part, we got to Foreside and we explored a bit of the town. In this part, we're gonna check out the Monodoly building and see what is up with this place. Um, got some uh, spooky music. Last night there was a Solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what Solitaire is? Actually, this guy is not playing Solitaire in the Japanese version. He says he was playing a Monopoly tournament last night, and he really had his butt kicked. He also adds in the fact that uh, you can play Monopoly on your Super Famicom. This is uh, removed because of the possible Parker Brothers intervention, and also because... No, wait. It was put in the game in Mother 2 because... Shigazatsu Atoy is a huge fan of Monopoly. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monopoly building? Hey, I just shaved this morning. Don't call me a baby face. I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monopoly's office. Well, these guys are very straightforward. Anyway, let's go into the elevator. Some and here's someone's some people's favorite uh, NPC. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Master Pokey, hey. Huh. Also, guys, uh, she says, quit staring at my hips. The word in Japanese for hips can also mean the, uh, can also mean butt. So, yeah. Staring at girls, yes. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? I mean, I'm his next-door neighbor, but it's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Well, let's see. Uh, in the Japanese version, he says something more direct. That someone could even shoot you with a machine gun and kill you, which apparently being shot with a, uh, just shot and not being killed by a machine gun is better than being killed by a machine gun. Whoops, I was almost going to beat you up. Won't do that, that's not nice. What else is going on in this, uh, here place? Oh, hello, there's Pokey. That's interesting. What is he doing in a place like this? Oh, there's his dad. Hello. You haven't changed much, Ness. I am Aloysius Minch's... Aloysius Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha! 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 He! Man. Ooh, his jaw's tired. Yeah, he seems to be um uh, laughing it. He's sure is living up the life of a uh, life of luxury. His uh. Oh, okay. Uh, in the Japanese version, actually, uh, Porky's dad, his name is more greasy. His name translates to something that's like greasy or oily because uh, his the last name, Minch, is close to uh, Minchi, which means uh, mincemeat, which is funny. Porky mincemeat. That's hilarious. What else is going on in here? Hello, how's it going, everybody? Get away from me, kid! Well, oh, bodyguards, jeez. You won't get away from me- wait, did he say- oh, Get away from me, kid, and you won't get away from me, kid. That's kinda funny. Ooh la la, this- this is my poor old friend. Ah, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no, Ness! Ness! Did you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la! Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey! Pokey, get it? I am now Gelagarde Monodoli's partner, and I give him a political and economic advice. I heard that there are some ratty-looking kids asking for Mr. Monodoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser. Well, looks like we're being, uh... Escorted out by the bodyguards. Yep, that sure looks like it. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Fine, I suppose. But he's my next door neighbor. How are we going to avoid that? Private elevator, not for option by the gener general public. Monopoly building manager. Well, then what am I supposed to do? 
No problem here, of course. There's never a problem here. Well, it looks like there's uh, no talking to Pokey. Elevator's going down. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. Whatever, lady. You and your hips. Dem hips don't lie, though. Well, now we know that uh, Pokey's in town. That's pretty interesting. I wonder what he's... Well, I mean, we know what he's doing here. He's uh, Mr. Monotoly's business partner now. He said it himself. Let's check out the museum. See what's going on in here. That's where we gotta pay to get in. Hey, you! Over there! Over here! Mission fee is $5 per person. Is that okay with you? Ah, I have only thousands of dollars, but sure, why not? Please go in. You'll find an expert in the area of arts and sciences. Let's check out this museum, see what's going on. Oh, looks like we got a big, giant, uh, bony skeleton. Dinosaur bones, believed to be from the southern... A deep beneath from Southern Scarabara. Don't ask for any details. Our research is continuing. Oh, hey! For checking out some dinosaur bones, we get rewarded by getting our picture taken! Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do so myself. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, save. Fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It always brings up the fondest of memories. Ah, uh, yes, getting our photograph taken, that's always exciting. Hello, this museum should sell dinosaur t-shirts. That'd be cool. Huge, not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not big, what are you talking about? I wonder how many animals go extinct before the human beings discover them. I want to see a live dinosaur sometime in my life. Well, if you play the Pokemon games, they have that machine that can bring fossils back to life. Oh, you got it. You, sir, you have a five o'clock shadow, it looks like. I'm so happy there are some visitors today. These days, few people come here. I'm Mr. Spoon, the academic researcher. I wonder if there are any famous stars here today. Dinosaurs, huge, aren't they? Well, that's all I've gotten out of my research. You want to hear more? To tell you the truth, I've heard the dinosaurs were found near the lower side of... S a s oh, it's... Scariba. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't remember. There are lots of them. There are unconfirmed reports that the dinosaurs ate some of the natives there. If you go, please try to find the dinosaurs and bring back photographs. Please come back again to study, as I don't like being alone. Yep. This guy. He says, um, his name is Mr. Rice Bowl in the uh, Japanese edition. Let's see. And other things that he says... He's a little obsessed with famous-ish girls. He says, I wish idle talents would come here once in a while. Okay. Alright, uh, I don't know why I wasn't talking there for a second. <laughs> We're done, um, museum's just big old dinosaur bones, and that's pretty much it. It's... Maybe worth looking at five dollars. Five dollars. Like, hey, come pay five dollars and check out our dinosaur bones. Well, I guess it is a dinosaur museum specifically, but you think they'd have more than just one set of dinosaur bones? I mean, seriously. Hello, how are you doing? You want to buy a ticket? Ah, oh, no, I'm good. Please come again. Please have your tickets ready. Ah, so I gotta have a ticket. I do. Thirty bucks, please. Sure. Excuse me, sir, but your hands are full. Oh, do I not have any room in my inventory? Uh, goods. I hope I hit the actual button. Goods. I, I am full. I am completely full. Whose contact lens is this? It must belong to someone. I could have sworn we'd find the guy with the contact lens. Hang on just a second. Okay. Actually, I had forgotten that we had found the contact lens. We actually could give that back to the guy who uh, lost it. We just had to go to the uh, bakery. We haven't been to the bakery yet, so let's check out the bakery, see what's going on here. Hello, may I help you? What shall I get you? We can buy some um, food items here while the department store is closed. Because department store is closed, we can't go shopping. Bread in this town has a very plain, nondescript flavor to it. To tell you the truth, I'm the owner of this bakery. Huh. Looks like you're more like a shopping lady than a guy. Hey, Mr. T, how's it going? I was thinking there's a tight... Uh, there's a tight walk born every minute. Mr. T.
Mr. T, would you like to look at these? What? Came to deliver my grandma's memento, the contact lenses? Thank you. I thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use only for special occasions. I wear these socks for just five years. There are no holes and they've only been worn once since the last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me here. I'm being generous. Jeff got the pair of dirty socks. Please take care of my. <laughs> Please take good care of my socks. <sighs> good, we have socks now. <laughs> what more could we want other than um actual like monetary reward or something? What do these socks even do? Oh, they're good. They're just they're just like um. It's basically the same thing as the um the the beetle that we got from that. Um, Mr. Saturn. It's just a random one-time use item in battle. Which, can we actually sell that here? It'd be cool if we could actually sell it and get, um, money for it. No, you can just buy here. Well, in that case, we have... I don't really have much use for, uh, a pair of dirty socks, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna drop them on the floor of the bakery here. So, I mean, I guess they didn't really go anywhere. There's a uh, guy from the bakery gave them to me, and I just dropped them on the floor in the bakery. They just transferred floors. <laughs> now that we have an empty hand, we can actually buy a ticket. I would like to buy a ticket, which is interesting. We only need one ticket for the three of us, unless they're $10 a piece. Please have your tickets ready. All oh, right. Got a... I don't know why I keep hitting select to uh, bring up the... Um, the menu instead of the actual button. Let's see. What am I looking for? Ticket. Show ticket. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. Hmm. Oh, let's see. See what's going on here with the runaway guys. Here's the, uh, looks like the owner of the place. So you're a Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no, this band owns me a million bucks. They break their contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, Hey, you guys! Or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you'd have to go find Barry Gold. Or you're going to be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho. Well, it looks like the Runaway 5 have gotten themselves in a bit of financial trouble again. Which, they're, um, they're always doing that sort of thing. There's a, uh, room full of people that aren't actually people. They're just kind of... They're sprites, that's all they are. Don't think you can talk to... Oh! This guy, uh... This guy actually says stuff. He says dot 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 and then quiet. Is that what they all say? Maybe. Whatever. You just have a bunch of, uh... Useless, non-sprite NPCs. They're just... Basically, um, static sprites. They're not dynamic. When Nest arrives, Runway 5 told me to let him in, so please come in. Cool. Runway 5 is uh, telling us to, uh, telling us to do a thing. Let's take a look. Uh, we owe you guys so much. Sorry. To meet Galagarde uh, Monotoly, you need all help. I don't know exactly why, it's just a hunch. Which, in Mother 2, he says it's a musician's hunch. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle one ear women. Do wop, do do wop. <laughs> We're so helpless, really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And again, we've been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Not sure if that's thing something to be oh yang about. Well, I guess let's go uh, check out the show, possibly. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you uh, check out the uh, ticket in the Japanese version, it says uh, S seats, number three, which the S seats are uh, box seats. And in the Earthbound, it was changed to section B, seat 3D, which if you look at it spelled out, uh, it kind of resembles be seated, which is kind of, uh, funny. Oh, Earthbound and its quirks. I'm not sure if that was an intentional thing or not. If it's just a... Have I got a bombshell show for you tonight, kids? <coughs> oh, jeez. I'm not gonna do that again. That actually hurt my throat a bit. Which, actually, in the Japanese version... Um, he actually says, uh, have I real, have I got a real bombshell for you nice assholes today? Mm. 
Which, uh, obviously, they can't say the word assholes. That's kind of rude. Kaboom! The Runaway Five! Yeah! Three, two, one, go! All right, let's sit back and check out the show. Good performance, nice uh, lighting effects. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh. I went back to the door. Did you guys say anything else different? We're so helpless, really helpless. I think he just says the same exact stuff. Yep, I just said the same stuff. Well, they've been cheated by the uh, theater owner, and the owner herself. Oh, great. I accidentally activated the show again. Hang on just a second. I'm gonna uh, skip past the show again. Okay, now, now that that's over, let's talk to this guy again. If Ness arrives, okay, he just says the same exact stuff. Well, that was a pretty cool show. I thought they uh, did some pretty neato stuff. Well, the lady, the owner of the theater, she said stuff. She says something like, hey, uh, you'd have to find Barry Gold or something. And if I remember correctly, we actually did. Oh hi! <laughs> we actually did find a guy. By the way, look at this carpet. Doesn't this remind you of like like a th old theater carpet? It's so like tacky and cheesy looking. It's pretty funny. Well, I guess we're gonna head to the desert because there was that guy in the desert who was like, "Hey, um, digging for buried gold. Can you give me some food?" And he, I uh, gave him food. So he's like, "Thanks. If I find anything, I'll be sure to uh, give it to you." So I guess we'll go um, go check out, see how he's doing, see if he's actually found any gold yet. Hey, look, a magic butterfly. Let's go ahead and consume it. Nom nom nom, delicious butterflies. Delicious, nutritious butterfly. I am a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that for Bugs Life? It's been such a long time since I've seen Bugs Life. Any of those movies. Oh, there's so many, like, good, like, childhood memory movies coming out. Another magic butterfly. Cool. Like, they're making Finding... Was, was it actually Finding Dory? Yeah, I think it was what it called Finding Dory. And they're making the second Incredibles movie. Like, come on. It's Incredibles. That's awesome. I love the Incredibles. That's such a good movie. All right, we're back in the desert again. Risk of sunstroke continues. Maybe we'll run into that enemy that uh, we didn't see the uh, first time. That'd be cool. That would mean uh, I wouldn't have to go searching for it later. Whoa. This is definitely different. I have lots of work to do, but I can't seem to move. I'm so curious about the dig. I can't help it. And we have a blue-haired healer here, too. That is interesting. Oh, no. Don't want to don't wanna do anything. Yeah. Oh, hey, this guy. Um, this guy also sells food items. That's pretty cool. Wet towel, which makes um, sunstroke go away, which is kind of expensive considering healing alpha gets rid of it. I think he should dig somewhere else. If they have a lied process from the good, I can check out the dig while wrestling on the floor. It is true. You could. Ugh, too many people. I'm getting stuck. I've been watching them dig for a while. I wonder what they'll find. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe diamond. Or something. I don't know. I'm no scientist. What do you, who do you think I am? Let's, 
Let's see here. Is this a... Did they uh, expand on their cave? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's the guy. I didn't have a problem digging until this. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles! If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm hopeless to really do anything. Well, looks like the place, the diamond mine, is now a dungeon. Which we will go explore in the next part. Luckily enough, we have a shack right outside. Just for, um, healing. Which is pretty nice. Yep, so we can, uh, heal up if we run into trouble inside of this, uh, dungeon. Alrighty. We will explore this, uh, diamond mine in the next part. So, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day!